You sit down to study. You promise yourself just one hour, no phone. But 10 minutes in, your brain starts whispering, check your messages, you might be missing something. Suddenly you're not studying, you're scrolling. And then it hits you. You didn't choose to get distracted. Your brain did. Today, I'll show you how to take your focus back. Not by forcing yourself, but by understanding the psychology and neuroscience behind distraction. Let's rewire your brain. The science of distraction. Your brain is not designed for the modern world. Thousands of years ago, it evolved to hunt, survive, and notice danger. That's why your brain loves novelty. Every notification feels like a possible threat or reward. And that's where dopamine comes in. It's not the pleasure chemical, it's the motivation chemical. It makes you want things. Every ping, every scroll, every like, gives your brain a tiny dopamine hit. Over time, you train your brain to crave constant stimulation. So when you try to study, the silence feels uncomfortable, even painful. But here's the good news. You can retrain your dopamine system. So your brain wants to focus again. How to reprogram your brain for focus. Neuroscientists call it neuroplasticity. It means your brain literally rewires itself based on what you repeat. Every time you stay focused for even 10 minutes, you're strengthening the neural pathways of concentration. Every time you give in to distraction, you reinforce the opposite. Focus isn't a gift, it's a skill. And like any skill, it grows with training. The three advanced science-backed focus systems. One, the dopamine reset routine. Set a 60-minute block with zero external dopamine. No phone, no notifications, no music with lyrics. At first, it's painful. Your brain craves escape. But around the 15-minute mark, something shifts. Your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that controls focus, wakes up. This is where real deep work begins. After that, you'll feel a strange calm, not because you forced focus, but because your brain adapted to stillness. 2. The Anchor Habit Technique Pick one physical trigger, like a hoodie, a scent, or a playlist, and use it only when you study. It becomes your focus anchor. Over time, your brain connects that trigger with deep concentration. This is classical conditioning. You're basically training your brain like an athlete trains muscle memory. Soon, that candle or song will instantly drop you into focus mode. 3. The two-minute momentum rule. Tell yourself, I'll just start for two minutes. Your brain hates starting, not continuing. Once you start writing, reading, or solving, momentum kicks in. Psychologists call this the Tigernick effect. Your brain hates leaving things unfinished. Use that against it. Start small, and you'll accidentally go deep. The flow state formula. There's a mental zone called flow, where your mind and actions sync perfectly. You lose track of time. Everything feels effortless. Researchers found that flow happens when 1. You have a clear, specific goal. 2. You work on something slightly challenging. 3. You remove distractions. When you combine those three, your brain releases dopamine, norepinephrine, and anandamide, a perfect chemical cocktail for peak performance. You stop fighting focus. You become focus. Rewriting your identity. Every time you choose focus over distraction, you're not just finishing a chapter. You're changing your identity. You're proving to yourself, I can control my mind. And once you start identifying as a focused person, your habits follow automatically. Because identity drives behavior, not willpower. In a world built to steal your attention, focus is your superpower. You don't need more time, you need more presence. So next time you sit to study, remember, you're not just opening a book. You're reprogramming your brain to love discipline. Because one day when you look back, You'll realize the ability to focus was your greatest weapon all along. Train your brain, control your world. Subscribe for more science-backed mindset videos.